Hi everybody, Travis Taylor here from Capital City Nissan in Topeka, Kansas, also known as the Salsa Robot on YouTube. Today I'm going to do a video for you on a 2022 Nissan Rogue Sport SV. Let's go check it out. Here's a nice side profile of the 2022 Rogue Sport SV. As you'll see, this is the SV, so you got those cool fog lights right there, got your LED daytime running lights, your Nissan V-Motion grill right there looks like a little grin at you. Coming around the side here, you've got aluminum alloy wheels, looks like probably a 17, yeah, it's a 17 inch wheel. Pull back, I'm gonna pull up here, show you this. Look at that, 27 miles per gallon combined, 24 city, 30 on the highway, pull back a little bit, get a side view over here. The Rogue Sport, it does have roof rack, you would have to get crossbars for this. I do like it's got this chrome protective plate here that keeps your rear bumper from getting all scratched up when you're loading things in and out of the cargo area tell you what let's look underneath the hood of this thing under the hood here you've got the two liter four cylinder with direct fuel injection made it up to the Xtronic CVT automatic transmission Everything's pretty out in the open. Here's your coolant. Here's your washer fluid your oil filler Here's where you check your oil your brake fluid. You got your air filter in here uh, Actually, I'm sorry your air filters right here under here's where your battery is This just pops right off here real easy to get to the battery if you needed to jump start somebody And of course, it's a Nissan. They stick that and a lock brake system controller there uh, back here behind this strut tower to protect it so you keep your brakes in event of a, a wreck. You've got crumple zones here, J hooks here to keep this hood from coming back at you in a wreck. You got liquid filled motor mounts that's going to drop that engine down in event of a collision, not push it back into the firewall. Let's go around and check out the cargo area on this. Before I take you back to the cargo area, I just remembered, I did not tell you, this does have a 141 horsepower, 147 foot-pounds of torque, good little engine, two liter, four cylinder, direct fuel injected. Nissan has made a billion of these motors and they last a long time. Here we are around back on this Rogue Sport. I uh, pointed out before you've got your bumper protector here. You've got a nice flat in and out load surface so you're not lifting up and out. You've got a divide and hide system here. Um, these can be pushed in there like that. Keep your groceries from rolling around on you where you can pull them out and lay them flat again. Uh, underneath here there is a little storage you've got this little cargo cover here as you can see it's attached as you lower this down that will go down this is removable if you don't want to keep this in here and you got a little a little bit of storage here on the side and of course you've got your latch system for seat belts right there a lot of people see this what's this that's for your grocery bags. Keep your groceries from sliding all over the place. Shut that down, it's a manual close. I believe maybe if you go into an SL, you can get that power hatch on these, but on the SV, it is a manual close, which is pretty effortless. You got that SV all wheel drive badging right there, and you got your Rogue Sport badge there. I love this Monarch Orange. I think it's a nice looking color. Some people hate it, some people love it. Either way, let's take a look inside this thing. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna go in the back seat here. First off, I'm gonna show you, you got your child safety locks right here on the door. Look at this leather on the armrest. Nice, nice fitment on all the indoor panels. You got this separating it out. Looks really, really cool. Got speakers down here bottle holder here in the door got it over on the other side as well 
here in the middle you can fold this armrest down you got two cup holders right there you've got vents for the rear passengers and right up here pull that 60 40 bench seat folds right down if you need to haul something a little longer and like i was saying before this tray here if you don't want this this pops right up out of here let's check out the front seat when i come up here i've got a button right here for the intelligent key fob so you don't have to pull that key fob out of my pocket to get into the vehicle of course i got a water bottle holder down here two cup holders in the console and one over there this vehicle seats five and holds eight drinks gotta love it power windows and locks over on this side along with power mirrors follow right up here i'm going to show you, you got blind spot monitoring right here this will light up if somebody's in your blind spot if you turn your turn signal on like you're going to merge into the lane where they're at that light's going to not flash at you it's going to go solid and it's going to chime at you to let you know somebody is in your blind spot and stop stop what you're doing come right over here i've got the trip reset i can brighten and dim my dash lights down below here these buttons i've got traction control where i can turn it on and off all my sensors around the vehicle parking sensors eco mode sport mode all wheel drive lock heated steering wheel let me explain that eco mode your vehicle used to be controlled by a throttle cable right You'd hit your gas pedal and there was a throttle cable that was hooked to the back of that gas pedal that went all the way up to your throttle body. And you'd hit the pedal and that cable would pull open that throttle body and you'd, you'd get acceleration. It's changed a little bit now. They've done away with the cable. Everything's got sensors, actuators, all kinds of computer stuff. You hit that pedal now. It sends a, uh, like a signal to a computer. The computer tells an actuator to open the throttle body and open up fuel injectors and everything good like that and get you motivated. What this eco button does is it kind of dumbs down the response, makes it not so sensitive, so it's using less fuel to take off and drive around town, right? On the other hand, you can hit sport, it makes it more sensitive so you want a little more power, a little more throttle response. You hit sport, that thing's more sensitive. You hit the pedal, the, the computer says, boom, give it more fuel. Let's, let's open up, let's, let's accelerate. So that's, that's what that is now. That, that, that's those two buttons. And then you have the all wheel drive lock. What you do, say a snow plow comes in, kind of plows a drift around your car, you can hit that lock instead of the all-wheel drive system operating in the intelligent all-wheel drive uh, where it waits to feel for wheel slippage to start transferring power to the different wheels with the all-wheel drive lock on it's it's in all-wheel drive so you can pull up out of a you know a situation like that where you might have a little bit of a snow drift around your car after you get going i think 12 to 16 miles per hour it'll kick back off and go into the normal operating mode uh, where the vehicle's in front wheel drive unless it's feeling loss of traction and then it starts transferring power around to the different wheels where you need to get traction so that, that in a nutshell that's kind of how all that stuff works and the heated steering wheel button pretty simple you heat that up warms up or hit that button it heats up your hands i'm going to come back over here to the wheel again i've got volume controls right here for the stereo i've got here where I can skip ahead on tracks, skip ahead to preset radio stations. If you're using Spotify, skip ahead to different different songs on your playlists or something. This is a back button. Um, right up here, these are the buttons that will control here in the middle. See how this works? Got that heads up display there. Love that. Digital speedometer right in the middle in between your analog speedometer and your analog tachometer flip back through there you can customize these screens to show what you want here of course it's got two miles on it so we don't have any fuel economy data or anything like that um, i'll show you again here's your intelligent four-wheel drive system as you can see all the power is rolling through the front wheels right now if it feels some wheel slippage you're going to start seeing power transferred to these back wheels here that's how all that works so nissan gets you better fuel economy they don't have it running in all-wheel drive all the time let me pull back here 
got simple cruise control right here this turns it on and off here's your set your cruise here's your accelerate this also decelerates and that cancels your cruise and that'll turn it right back off because it turned it on as well these two buttons here for your hands-free bluetooth phone so you can speak not holding your phone going down the road very safe another great safety um, addition to vehicles that i love of course you got your push button start and stop up here on the stereo system you've got a cd player still in the rogue sport you don't see very many cd players anymore they're phasing them out there's a touch screen just like a lot of the other nissan vehicles i'll show you you can hold six different phones in here um, also this has got apple carplay and android auto so you can run your navigation through here put different screens up on this um, display here um, you can display your phone screen up there as well this here's your button to dim or brighten your screen here knobs and buttons love it easy controls volume tuning down below here i got dual climate control very nice very slick easy to use system you got button here to go up and down on the ac control the modes you're in very simple to use down here below my my hvac and stereo i've got chargers nice leather shift boot nice accents on the shifter easy to use gonna put it in reverse got a nice big reverse uh, backup camera there down here i got my cup holders i've got heated seats in the sv and i got a console here with another charger got another uh, and another 12 volt here you'll see a little indention here for your cords to pass through there to go to the back seat in case the back seat passengers need those charging ports and right here you got pen holders it's pretty cool this is a nice little spot to stick your cell phone so it's not floating all over the place or right here you'll see that door trim piece will follow around in your accents on the dash up along there to the other side nice styling in here really nice seat materials is the cloth seat go to an sl if you want leather i've got power seat on my side and i've got a manual seat on the passenger side nice big glove box in there what else am i missing here up top i've got sunglass driving glasses holder there's your microphone for your hands-free phone i used to call these oh shit handles i've decided to call them something else now these are holy gee whiz hang on fun time handles or tripod mount that's where i mount my tripod when i drive these cars now I'll give you a view of the back seat I think now I'm ready uh, to just mount up that tripod and let's take this thing around the block. I'm going to go out back here and and do a 0 to 30 and do some braking because uh, the parking lot across the street I normally use is being used today. I don't want to drive over there and uh, bother anybody and be in their road. Okay, guys, I got my tripod all mounted up. Let's take this thing for a spin, get a little idea of the, the handling and everything. Again... Uh, this has got the two liter. It's a four cylinder with direct fuel injection, made it up to an Xtronic CVT transmission. Your turning circle in this car is so tight. I could say some really dirty stuff right now to, to tell you how tight it is. And I'm just going to leave that out, but it's tight. And, uh, I don't know why the hell people aren't using these things for taxi cabs to tell you the truth. I would think you could get around in the city pretty easy with one of these things i'm gonna try to pull out of the parking lot here we're gonna hang her right and you know what that parking lot across the street is looking pretty empty now let's go in there see what kind of mischief we can cause in this parking lot turning super easy on these things anybody that's ever experienced nissan power steering you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty effortless and very smooth. Steering is very smooth on these Nissans. Here we go. I'm going to pull right through here. Hang on, everybody. Okay, I'm going to pull her to a dead stop right here. I'm going to see if I can get this bitch up to 88 miles an hour. Just kidding. This doesn't have the flux capacitor. I think you got to go to the triple platinum edition to get that on these. 
We're gonna go zero to 30 right now and check this out. I'm gonna go on the brake like I'm at the drag strip, taking her up to about 1500 RPM and let's go. Very underwhelming. Woo! Definitely not a race car. I did see some power shift in the screen here from the front wheels to the back wheels. Uh, during acceleration, the car definitely could tell uh, needed to transfer a little bit of power to the back. This thing is definitely no speed demon, not a power hoss, 141 horsepower. Let's bring her up to 30 and see how she stops. There we go, there's 30, let's take it to 40 and I'm gonna hit them. Damn good braking. That's good braking. She's no powerhouse, she's not gonna accelerate super fast, but damn she'll stop on a dime if she needs to. Yeah, the, the very little body roll on the suspension while I'm taking these turns at speed. I'm doing 20 with the wheel totally cranked there. Felt a little wheel slip. I was going a little too fast. Very little body roll. Solid, solid on the suspension. Overall, it's hard to beat this thing. If you need a little commuter SUV, you got a small family, you're starting out, uh, definitely check out the Rogue Sport. I don't think you can really go wrong with these things. You're not going to go out and win a race with them, but who the hell's out racing Rogue Sports anyways? Well, guys, I'm going to work my way through traffic here to get back to the dealership, which let me tell you, it's a really long drive. I'm going all the way across the street here on Topeka Boulevard. Uh, but... You know, this has been the 2022 Rogue Sport SV. It's all wheel drive. This is Monarch orange in color, aluminum alloy wheels. This is kind of your middle trim package. Pretty damn solid car. Really like these cars. If you're gonna be commuting, need a little smaller vehicle to get around, definitely check out the Rogue Sport. Um, once again, I'm Travis Taylor from Capital City Nissan. I'm also known as the Salsa Robot on YouTube. Please click on subscribe for me. Really helps me out. I, I try to make a video every day for you guys and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. I'll, I'll find another vehicle and we'll, we'll do another video. Y'all have a good day.